really interesting and I hope you will like it. We are bringing you to the Moraka. In local Tibetan language, this means the coral. So this is very special. It has the first underwater residence in the entire world and it's really, really nice. You will love it, I'm sure. So the video, the first one that you've just seen from the start, that is the private seaplane platform. So your client or yourself, when you come here, you don't have to share on the commercial or shared area or public area. This is dedicated. So you land there privately, the butler is waiting for you and you will have your exclusive butler. By the way, your butler is available 24 hours in this residence and they will be staying in that area. Um, unfortunately, we'll not be able to show you that at the moment, but it has one room with four beds. So if you're bringing your nanny and maybe a chef lady, uh, as long as they're all ladies, they can share a one bedroom with four um, single beds. They have it's equipped with toilet, shower, and also it has a separate also one single room with one single bed if you want to bring your bodyguard. So that is really good. Um, but it's not really equipped. Or if you guys are coming here as a group of friends, um, that's not, that may not. Someone will complain that they don't want that. That would be for your nanny, your chef, or your bodyguard. Also, on the first room here, on the corner, it would be the techno gym. Um, let's have a quick look at it. It's very uh, minimalist, but it has everything that you need to stay fit and stay healthy. So for those um, avid uh, fitness folks, you don't have to worry, you are covered. Also, you really want to have the extensive um, amenities and gym facilities, you can always go to the main island and use it there. But for now, you've got the techno gym, the treadmill, and the bike. They can use this guest toilet. Comfortable. And this would be the first bedroom, which is a twin bed, and the beds are queens. Very comfy. They have their own cupboards. Um, they also have their own toilet in the shower. There's a TV. But in this room, it's not coming up with bathtub. So this is really good for your teenagers or young children. Now on this, this is the connecting door to the king bed, which is sort of a master room. And here you can see, this is the lock for this room. When you lock this one here, the other people in the second room cannot enter here. In the same way, if I close this door here from this side, you won't be able to open it from that side. So this is interconnecting. But this room here, being a master, comes with more things to offer. Cupboards bigger, and you have these. And the toilet is amazing here. Longer, his and hers, because after all, it's the master. And who doesn't love a marble bathtub? So here, this is a full shower, rain shower, in a toilet, and of course, the sunrise view. This is, by the way, the sunrise side of the villa. And from there, this is the bedroom. It can be closed like this. Okay. And like this. This is the toilet. That's where we entered. We went inside the bathroom and then we're coming up here and then we're exiting. Of course, the view, the view is amazing.
you're laying down on your bed, or you're simply probably just sitting here and chilling and having a cup of coffee, looking over to the sunrise. But that's not the best thing in this villa. So here, like I said, you can come in here with a big family. Full bar for yourself, huge TV, the living room, Might I say, this room comes with an industrial kitchen. So your professional chef can definitely come with you and they can come here, prepare your breakfast here at the residence itself. It will be served here. So if you want your lunch and dinner, all your meals to be prepared here, that's totally fine. And let's check out the balcony. But infinity. For great swimmer, you have the ladder. You take off the sea water, you have the open tower. The ladder is your top floor. Alright, so that way you can also enter going to the Maraca. But let's go to this side. This is the one we're sliding. is very important so we open the shear and that right there my friend is your security safety hatch so in case of emergency all you need to do is climb up and then the red light will turn on the security folks will definitely be coming over in a snap of a finger so this elevator will take you straight down to underwater room. But let's take the stairs. This is five meters below. The underwater villa has its own wardrobe and toilet and shower. And I tell you, the toilet and the shower is the most interesting I've ever seen. I've seen quite a lot of rooms and villas during the Maldives. And this is natural habitat of the fishes, by the way. This is not an aquarium. You are the one inside the aquarium. Ready? But before that, here, let's have a look. Look at this amount of fishes. Hello, fishes. And this is the elevator. Elevator going up. Just so we will see the elevator. Ta-da! Just in case you guys won't believe me, there is indeed an elevator here. Ta -da! <laughs> oh look, look how beautiful that is. Come on, finally. Ready, 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 ready. Welcome to the Murak. Let's open one by one what's in here. This is the toilet that I told you about. Everything is nice. That's your toilet with the sea world looking straight to you. Isn't that very interesting? Forget about snorkeling. The Maraca. So the material 
is here, there are corals growing on it. So they're environmental friendly. And again, this is very interesting. One of a kind experience. Simply just chill and watch the ocean above you. So sometimes you get lucky and some stingrays swim above and like right now I can see fishes right here. Some are sharks. Depends with your luck. Like I said, none of these fishes or marine life are booked in advance. They are in their wild and natural habitat. All right. Or you could just simply sit here for now. We don't see anything. You could just silently. This chair rotates. So I can have my coffee and enjoy the show or read a book and enjoy the show when the fishes are swimming. Now you might be wondering how do I even sleep in there on a daytime? I come to the Maldives to relax, yes? underwater room it is it's very interesting but i want to rest on a daytime don't worry no friend totally possible in this room all you need to do is just press this and voila the day becomes night safe to go up. You see? You see how today becomes tonight? Don't worry. Some mermaids doesn't have to wake you up or some sharks doesn't have to wake you up while you're sleeping. Awesome! So that's the wrap of our interesting villa and residence here at the Maraca. If you're interested to book this one, let us know. And I hope you love this villa as much as we do. I mean, I personally love it. See you here. We're experiencing another category, so stay tuned.